I, you know, I thought there's no way that's gonna happen, but that's a very cool opportunity. You know, I, I remember exactly where I was when my agent called me just to say that they were making a Batman film and that they wanted to meet with me. And I thought that was, you know, that was good enough. The fact that I was even on the list of people they wanted to meet. Riddler's latest, it's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. I have a thing about strikes. <laughs> ¿Cómo fue convertirte en Catwoman? You know, uh, throughout my career, there's been jobs that I really wanted and haven't gotten, so I really tried to um, not get too excited and not get too attached. And then I, you know, went to LA to meet Matt and loved his vision and loved him as an artist and. That made it even harder because I really wanted to work with Matt and then read the script and loved the script. And so it was this journey of like, kind of like trying to not get too excited, but you know, falling in love with this project. And, and when they, you know, when they finally called me and after the screen test and said that I had it, it was just, I, I, I still can't believe it. I still, I'm seeing these posters now pop up all over and I'm, I'm like, what? That's me? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. A diferencia de otras interpretaciones de, de Catwoman, tu personaje está en proceso de creación por la desaparición de una amiga. ¿Cómo fue crearlo con, con, este, con este objetivo, con esta búsqueda? It was interesting because, you know, there's this idea of, of Catwoman and she's this kind of vixen and she's kind of, you know, she's playful and she's funny and she's naughty and all of these things. And, you know, in this story, she's really upset. She's really, you know, the stakes are very high. She's very emotionally invested. She's trying to find a friend. She's worried. So there's not a lot of um, space to, to kind of deliver that playfulness that I think a lot of people expect. And I think there was something scary about that for me. I was afraid that people might be disappointed that they don't get that. And I think in future films that we will, you know, we'll get to that place. But, you know, Matt really helped me stay focused in terms of keeping it really grounded and really um, about this relationship and about her her, her friend that's that's missing and, and you know, the, the pain that comes with that situation. He's still away. He's involved in this? No, he's not involved. How do you know? He's a vigilante. Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, don't throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. ¿Cómo es convertirte en una figura de acción y que vas a estar en la vitrina de muchísimos coleccionistas? It's crazy. It's crazy. They they gave me one the other day and I was like, that looks like me. That's me. That's like It's my face. It's nuts, you know. I think um I'm st I'm it's you know, it's all kind of happening right now, so I'm still getting used to it. Um but yeah, it's 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 insane. <laughs> justice. The answer is justice. 